Do you know what? If there's one positive that's come out of this lockdown, it's the people who have thought to themselves, do you know what? I'm sick of working for my employer. I don't want to be in the office nine till five. I'm going to start my own business and make a living for myself. You go, Glen Coco. <laughs> So many people, even that I know in real life, have started businesses during lockdown. We love to see it. So today's video is dedicated to those people. Over lockdown, I've been buying from a bunch of small businesses, and most of these small businesses don't even know that I'm making this video. Okay, so I've divided the things up into three categories. First up, we have fashion, then we have homeware, then we have dog stuff obviously. I'll leave timestamps in the description down below in case you're particularly interested in one category, but let's go. First up, fashion. These trainers have actually featured on my Instagram. They got their own post because I love them so much. I mean, can we just take a minute to one, appreciate the talent, two, appreciate how incred these trainers are. So these are from a little business called Customs JH over on Instagram. I believe the girl who runs this business is called Janie. I'm really sorry if I got that wrong. I have the worst memory when it comes to names. Genuine Nike Air Forces customized to whatever design you want. I'm just looking on her Instagram page now. She has a whole load of designs on there. If you spot one that you like in particular, you can message her and say, look, I love this. Can I get this in a size, whatever. And I actually saw she posted this Louis Vuitton design in in pink. I absolutely love the design, but I'm wearing a lot of neutrals at the minute. So I messaged her and said, could I get these in a size five and a half, but in beige? And she was like, yeah, of course you can. You can have any color. I love that they're still a simple trainer, but they're a bit more jazzy and the attention to detail. She's painted the air in the same color, the ends of the shoelaces in the same color. So much talent and they're not much more expensive than buying normal Nike Air Forces. Get your custom one, show them off to your mates. They'll be well gel. Well gel. Oh my God, that threw me back to like 2000 and 13 Towie days. Next up, we have my fave scrunchy business in the game. So I actually went to school with this girl. She was in the year below me. Her name is Sean, and she has created By Sean Scrunchies. Of course, I'm gonna leave all of the information to these businesses in the description down below. I'll leave links to their Instagrams, their websites if they have any. But for most of these, you can just drop them a message over on Instagram. And because it's a small business, it's a lot more personal. So from Sean, the first delivery I got were these two scrunchies. These are the best quality scrunchies. I have ever had. These two are like a silky material. So we have the white and we have the peach. I wear the white one all the time. I wear a lot of white anyway, and this goes with so many outfits. And then I also bought another scrunchie from Sean. So then I bought the blue tie dye. This one is a really soft fabric material as opposed to the satiny silky kind of material. But on her page, she has so many beautiful colors, beautiful designs. A lot of influencers have been wearing her scrunchies as well. Honestly, she has done so, so well. And her page is such a vibe. Okay, Okay, next up we have a super cute sweatshirt. I haven't actually worn this yet because I've been waiting to show you in this video. So I'm very excited to whack this on tomorrow. But this lavender and lemon tie-dye sweatshirt, isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. This is from a brand called Honey the Label. I love that in the Instagram bio it says by Danielle Jasmine and her mum. Oh my god, that just melts my heart. Her stuff is so lovely. She does loads of tie-dye pieces, but she doesn't just do tie-dye. I actually found this page because someone I know posted a picture in one of the sweatshirts and I messaged her like, oh my God, where is that sweatshirt from? I love that. I think it was these exact same colors. I've never seen these two colors together on a piece of clothing before and I love this combo. She also does peachy ones, just lemon ones, which I definitely want to get next. She does matching joggers, shorts. There's so many cute pieces. I want to be this girl, please. Next up, single lady, reveal yourself. It's my best mate, Becca. <laughs> so during lockdown, one of my best friends, Becca, has started to make polymer clay earrings. I'm not just giving these a shout out because it's my best mate. I genuinely think her earrings are adorable. They are so Brighton. She does live in Brighton. Handmade in Brighton. If that ain't the tagline, I don't know what is. Her small business is called Matola Makes. It's super personal, even down to the fact that Matola, I believe, Becca, don't hold me to this, but Becca's family are Portuguese. I think either her grandparents or her great grandparents or her great great grandparents had a farm in Portugal that was called something Matola. So that's where the name comes from. It's super cute. She does dangly earrings like these ones. I personally had a blue bodysuit and I wanted some matching earrings. So I've got the small lemons. She also does studs. Pretty much you can just message her whatever color you like, whatever design you're thinking of and she'll make them for you. And they're such lovely quality as well. When Becca first started this business, she messaged me every time she got an order like, oh my God, I've got another order. And she's invested in recyclable packaging and everything like that. She's just fab. She's 
thought about every detail. Okay, so that's everything I've got from the fashion category. I'm now gonna move on to homeware and bits and bobs. So, I couldn't make this video without mentioning the family business. How could I? When your family run a small business, it feels so personal, and I really appreciate the work that goes into a small business. My dad actually runs two local small businesses. One is a print shop, and one is a DIY and hardware store. He specializes in custom wallpapers, so a lot of people buy wallpapers like for their kids and stuff, or wall stickers, but we've come up with a little collab. I'm really excited about this, because this I feel like is my business as well. So I wanted to help him out and mention something that he's gonna be selling now. So together, we have created Disney-fied pet stickers. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with them, they're so cute. Basically guys, did anyone see that Snapchat filter a couple of weeks ago where you could record your pet and it turned them into a Disney character? As soon as I saw that, I was like, I would buy that version of my dog. But nothing like that existed, so we just created it ourselves, basically. If you've got a dog or a cat, you can get your pet's head made into these different sized stickers. You'll receive this A4 sheet of paper. You'll get eight small stickers, six mediums, and two large stickers. These are really cute vinyl stickers to stick on your phone, or your laptop, or a notebook, or anywhere, your mirror. I've actually put one on my phone, so I now have a little picture of Sunny on my phone with a clear phone case. And to get a phone case made like this would be really expensive it works out so much cheaper to just buy a clear phone case and these stickers and then obviously you get more than one So the business is called print and web studio. We're actually selling these stickers over on Etsy We've set up an Etsy page just for them to make it easy for you guys I was having a little practice with some of my friends dogs. I think they're so cute We've got Dolly the Whippet. You might recognize her from YouTube. My very first cat sticker I was very excited about making this. This is Jade and Matt's little cat I think my favorite one though is from my friend Harriet. These stickers worked so so well with her dog. Look at them. <laughs> Are they not just the cutest thing ever? So the way we're gonna be making these stickers is you just head over to Etsy, choose whether you have a boy or a girl dog. Do you want lashes or not? <laughs> priorities. Add it to your basket, check out and everything, and then message us with a picture of your pet. It's as simple as that, and then we'll make the stickers and send them off to you. Well, I'll make the stickers and send them to you. We've got some examples on the Etsy page of what your picture needs to look like. Obviously, your picture can't be blurry or really low quality. Also, if your pet's facing the side, that's a bit of an ish. So try and get your pet to face the front. If it's well lit, that's a bonus. But don't stress too much. I'll try and work with what you got. So yeah, $6.99 and free delivery for a sheet of stickers of your Disney-fied pet. Right, moving on. The next small business I bought from is a little place called Home Sweet Homeware. Isn't that such a cute name for a homeware shop? Looking at their page, I feel like it is Mrs. Hinch's heaven. But there was one thing in particular that I loved from them, and it is a little vase slash jug. You are my sunshine. I'm picturing this when I've got my own house one day on my kitchen windowsill with some little flowers in it. Probably fake so they don't die. I think it's adorable, especially because my puppy's called Sunny. It seemed very fitting. I was gonna put some of her stuff in it, but I actually love it too much to use it for the dog. Apologies, Sunny. I want to put this in my bedroom somewhere for now with some fake flowers. Or you could use it as a, like a water jug if you've got mates coming over. I mean, I don't know what kind of posh gathering you're having, but you could use it as a water jug. <laughs> fake flowers for me. This feels really lovely quality. It's really nice and heavy. Obviously, it's been in transit as well, and it is ceramic, and there is absolutely no faults with it. No cracks, no nothing. It just arrived perfect. I'm so happy with it. I love the size of it too. It's the little touches that I love with small businesses like this came with a little note that says thank you your order made my day I hope this parcel makes yours next up we have the sister of by Sean scrunchies how exciting that two sisters have started businesses in lockdown honestly the motivation that family must have is something I can only dream of so Sean's older sister Amy has started a business called the dried flower boutique Boutique? Boutique? I always struggle with that word. I actually saw Stacey Solomon post some very similar dried flowers to these ones, but I looked on the page she bought them from and they were a little bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie. And then, like a couple of days after I saw that, I realized Amy had started this business. So from Amy, I got some dried bleached bunny tails for 50 stems. These were 10 pounds. I can't believe that. And I spoke to Amy and I was like, how long do they last? And she said, well, it depends how you look after them. Like you have to be careful with them, obviously, because they're so delicate, but they can last for years. A tenner for a bunch of flowers that last you years. You'd spend like 15 quid on a bunch of flowers from Asda that would die in two days. I love that they're bleached as well. You don't have to have them bleached. She does different types of flowers as well, but I particularly loved the bunny tails. They're giving me like country boho vibes. We're actually keeping these downstairs in our lounge. I was gonna put them in my bedroom, but I felt like it was a bit 
selfish because my family love them as well. Amy actually dropped them off to my house during lockdown. She's a super lovely girl, but she's also now offering letterbox stems. So you can order them and she'll post them to you and she'll make sure they're wrapped up all nice and everything like that. Super cute, I love them. The next item is one of my favorite things I've bought in 2020. And I've bought a lot during lockdown, so that's a bold statement. My bank account is crying, but not because of these coasters. So the next business I've bought from is called Eden Home Accessories. A lovely girl called Beth runs Eden Home and I actually went to school with her sister. So still very local to me. And Beth started making resin coasters. Resin is like a massive thing at the minute, isn't it? Everyone's loving a bit of resin. Dried flowers, glitter, you name it. But Beth's resin coasters are the nicest ones I've ever seen. I ain't seen any like this on TikTok, let me tell you. So the ones that I got from Beth are these light pink, I believe maybe they're like light pink and rose gold. I'm not too sure, but they have gold around the outside. I love the shape of these. There's a little bit of gold in the middle as well. And they're super sparkly. Obviously you'll be able to see in the close up, but they are so beautiful. I can't wait to put these on my bedside tables. I think they're gonna look so lovely. So you can buy a set of two or you can buy four. I'm looking on Beth's page again. She's got so many colors you can choose from. She has a whole highlight where you can choose the colors and then just message her and say which ones you want. You can choose whether to have gold or silver around the edge or none if you don't want any. She does different shapes as well. And again, she dropped these off to my house during lockdown. It's such a lovely girl. And she said that so far the business has done really well. She's had orders from like Germany. Isn't that crazy? I can see why though. They are such lovely quality. Okay, so that's all the homeware bits and pieces. I'm now gonna move on to the dog section. I've only got a few bits. I found it quite difficult to find small businesses for dog stuff. But the first is a business called Cookie and Co. They actually make handmade dog treats. And when I saw these, I thought that is an Instagram opportunity if I ever saw one. So I bought two products from them. I bought an afternoon tea set. Look at these dog treats. It's like an afternoon tea for a dog. sunny has got bourbons, custard creams, jammy dodgers. The kid eats better than I do. And then I also bought her a pack of five party rings. The Instagram opportunity there to have the biscuits on a plate. Sunny sat there looking all prim and proper. Might even put a little bow tie on her, having afternoon tea, get the teapot out. I'm excited about it, I have to admit. So yeah, Cookie & Co for natural handmade dog treats. The next dog business is called Tugs Toys. This girl actually very kindly said me these items which I'm so grateful for. So she makes handmade dog toys and accessories. This dog toy that she sent is one of Sunny's favourite toys. So it looks like this, obviously it's a tug toy, but I love that it's so long because Sunny likes to pull it and then I pull it and whatever, we can play it for ages. And she honestly has chewed this so much and it looks still like brand new. She's not managed to get into it at all. It's nice and solid as well, perfect for your dog to grip. And Sunny's just started teething as well, so she really likes to chew on toys at the minute. And this has been one of her favourites for that. So yeah, love the colours as well. Oh my god, it matches my tie-dye sweatshirt. And then they also sent over this little dog bandana. One side has a whale and seashells and fish, which is perfect because I live by the seaside. And the other side has starfish. So basically you just put the collar through the top of this and then it sits on like a little bandana. And it's much safer than actually tying a bandana around them. Honestly, thank you so much for sending those over. Sunny appreciates this toy a lot. Okay, and then last but not least, the final small business for today is a little dog business called Charlie Noodles. They make handmade dog bows or bow ties. You can choose a Velcro option to go around their collar or you can choose at the hair clip option. I've gone for the hair clip and I started buying these way before we got Sunny. Probably like six weeks before we got her because I just think they're the cutest things ever. Only problem is she's tiny so they don't really fit her yet but also she shakes her head until they fly off. She's not really a fan so she's gonna have to get used to it because they're just too cute and I've bought so many of them now. But they are such lovely quality. These are probably my favourite one, the little mustard. My favourite picture of Sunny actually is this picture where she's wearing this bow. I just think it's adorable. And then all these ones I bought her in size small. Look at the Burberry print one. How cute are they? She's even got a party one with little sequins. Again, they're really, really affordable. I think they're like £2.50 a bow or something. It's just a really lovely business and I follow the girl on Instagram. I watch her making it all. She does like behind the scenes things and I just love seeing inside a small business. That was my last small business of today. If you guys like this video, I am so happy to film another one of these. I love buying from small businesses anyway. And if you've got a small business or if someone you know has, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe like tell me the Instagram name or the website. I'll be sure to check them out and possibly buy from them as well to feature in the next small business haul. I would love for this to be a regular thing because I just love hard workers and I just want to get people's businesses out there. So yeah, all of the businesses I mentioned today are in the description down below. Please do go and check them out if anything caught your eye. But anyway, guys, do subscribe to 
to my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you buy from any of these small businesses. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya. Oh,